Wi-Fi belongs to radio waves part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This is our spectrum which starts from 1 hertz which means 1 cycle per second very very low frequency even we cannot hear it cannot you know uh, feel it as well. So it goes from 1 hertz up to 30 eta hertz and even more than that. So we have low frequency we have radio waves mobile networks microwaves infrared our visible light which we see green blue color. So our human eye we can only see this range from 400 terahertz up to 750 terahertz or you can say in nanometer wavelengths and then we have ultraviolet up to 30 petahertz then x-rays up to 30 terahertz and so on but what we are interested today is this radio waves and most of the uh, electronic communication most of the telecommunication it belongs to here from 3 kilohertz up to 300 gigahertz and out of this we have this mobile network and microwaves between them we have been assigned to very small bands called ISM bands which means we can use those bands without any approval of local government. So this is called as Wi-Fi or wireless fidelity in some of the literatures. So we give we have been given 2.4 gigahertz which is which belongs to UHF ultra high frequency and we have been given 5 gigahertz band which is super high frequency that one right. So these bands have been assigned these frequency bands. So what is 2.4 gigahertz what is 5 gigahertz we will discuss in next lectures but this is electromagnetic spectrum and I think every network engineer every IT engineer every computer science engineer must understand the electromagnetic spectrum especially this radio waves part. So everything mobile networks, Wi-Fi, microwaves, our television communication, our satellite communication, everything belongs to this radio, radio waves part and this is very interesting part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So if you want to remember, you can remember from gamma rays, G for gamma, X for X-rays, U for ultra, this is how I remembered them as well and then I for infrared, so you can just remember it G, X, U, I, M, R, L so that you remember the whole frequency spectrum right electromagnetic spectrum so in next videos we'll discuss about these bands in detail